Yeah, he might have. He might have. He could be. It could be possible. But let's see. The Roma with the jack. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't played jack all day. Brought it out just for this one. And the winner of this will make top eight tomorrow. Yeah, especially that too. Your character could be cold, but all right, coming out swinging. Trying to set the pace. Oh man, just look at those. Arson down forward one, while standing ones, jabs. That's he, only, it. he only pressed one for that past like 10 seconds. <laughs> Using I, big body jacks to sidestep around the Rebukin, but drops the combo. I swear Arson has only pressed one this entire game. Is there, <laughs> is there like a specific like trophy he's trying to unlock here? <laughs> he's trying to win the single button character yeah. tournament. He's, winning, he's playing single button tournament. Oh, there it is. There's a three. <laughs> All right. He finally found the other buttons. Trying to dash up, get this. Oh, wow, yes. wall to wall, maximum wall break combo. Woo. Oh. Back three, two, just burns it. There's oh. the instant air EX fireball. And look at that, down forward one, down forward one, back three. Just wow. keeping the Roma in check. Because, you know, realistically, it, like, yeah, that's really the only option that the Roma has is trying to counter hit him with the forward two or something like that. Yeah, this, this is rough, man. I want to see the adjustment from Noroma. Arson just in the driver's seat all the time. I like that from Noroma, though. Just dashing up, forcing mix up. Oh, but he got clipped there. Didn't even allow him to whiff the down forward two from that range there. Tried to do the big boy combo. The axis was a little bit off. Oh, and did not break the throw. That was unfortunate for Noroma and Arson Ash up two rounds very quickly. Mainly only pressing one. Yeah, Look at that again. Insane. It's really been a lot of jabs, a lot of wall standing ones, a lot of down forward ones. He's really pushing all of his pressure with that one, with, with those moves. And realistically, he hasn't done that against anyone else. So it might just be the way he plays against Jack or just maybe yeah. against the It could be a character thing. That's oh. definitely true. I, every time I watch Arslan, he plays differently against everyone, it feels like. He, I think he prepares a game plan before he goes into the match. And I know this guy definitely studies opponents, too. Yeah, just look at this. Just one, one, back three. Wow, the confirmation on the back three, taking it so convincingly over Naroma. And if you're Naroma in this position, what do you go with? Do you go with the rematch with a different stage? Do you go with your different characters? This is super tough. He looks like he's going for the character select. I mean, you go to character select, you gotta you gotta just think about it, right? You don't Welcome the Jack the was the choice he, he chose for blind pit. Mm -hmm. Not sure if the blind pick was there for Kazumi, yeah, Kazumi or Geese. Or Geese but we haven't seen uh, Geese or Kazumi from uh, Arslan at all today. Yeah, just so, walking Geese the whole tournament. He's hovering over Jin, what? not hovering over Jin anymore. Okay. He's, he's moving around. He's dancing on oh, that character select screen. Akuma. I doubt that. I would love it. I think he's really just thinking about it, right? Because we have seen. Him play a handful of different characters. What? That's that, that definitely wrong. Okay, okay. That's wrong. okay. I was about to say, <laughs> I've never seen that. I never in a million years would have thought that. Setting a button bind, too interesting. Oh, and yes, he's going with Dragon on. All right, here it is. Same stage. <laughs> How did that two. happen? This guy should play Stacker. Get ready for the next so Arslan Asherson and Roma, winner of this will make top eight on the winner's side. Drinking that water. And you know hydrated. And you know who, who they get treated with when they make top eight? Me. <laughs> Are you serious? So I think a lot of people here might be rooting up really hard for Arslan. Dude, that could be the first match, like the second match in winners tomorrow. That is insane. I still love the way Arslan plays when he, with his with his uh, hands on the buttons like that. Yeah, every finger he he looks like Mr. Burns, like the like the like the really like limp limp wrist and the, just like the fingers hang dangling like hanging yeah. down. Yeah, you don't waste any time hovering to the other button from the other button. Yeah, it's efficient. And I want to watch him play too. I was watching his fingers this one time. It's just like everything's just so like just like precise and but yet so soft. Mm -hmm. I'm pressing buttons like a madman. I'm yeah, smacking. the way he beats up opponents, it seems like he's just smacking the buttons, but it's just so yeah. soft. Yeah, he's, he's completely Very nice. But the Roma looking good here now with the dragon off. Ooh. A lot more jabs coming out here from, from Arslan. Yeah, different style again for the dragon off. Not going for the down forward one while standing one stuff. Yeah, a couple more down threes here and there. Naroma has a small lead. Nice duck. Oh, he could have launched, but it still got the kill anyways. Naroma gets around. Finally got a point on the board. Yeah, the Dragon Off pick seems to be working. 
Arslan, though, controlling the pace with the jabs and the one twos. Good throw break there from Arslan. Good throw break right back from Naroma. Everyone's super aware. Nobody wants to give up anything. That could have been a back 3 2 situation. And it just look at the. This is all pokes, all pokes. Just dashing up and just forcing. Jab, jab, down forward one, confirms. And look at these guys. Oh, he finally got the wall standing one into forward one. Double rep who? And now, wall pressure now. Down two, out of it. Wow, perfect punish every time. Yeah, great punish there. Down two, gonna finish it out. Arslan, man, he's, it's a slow and steady grind yeah, in these matches. it's a slow burn. He's in it for the long haul. Oh, got the counter hit running two. Perfect wall carry combo, going for the flip over Oki. Down two again, Shopna. Oh, he tried to duck, but that was an EX mode anyway. Yeah. And <laughs> look for the blue, but it's hard to tell in the heat of the moment. Nice, got there the it job. is. Jake and high max Shoulder. combo. Oh. Okay, that was well low. 94. He knew it was enough. Went for the safest option. I man, I did not think that was gonna be enough. Right? That was scary. I would have done shoulder too. Yeah, to make sure, right? But maybe shoulder might whiff. Who knows? So Naroma has the lead here. Nice punish on the four circle back one. Sidestepping the down three. Small punish Ooh. though. That might have been a counter hit one two. Good to finish that string, but they didn't want to risk it. Wow, wow, down four two just gets blocked. Yeah, no, no punish. punish. Man, the Roma looking good in this in this game though. Yeah, the dragon off pick really paying off. Again. Wow. Not sure why he went for a raw one like you know, that. Bronson, when the words of Bronson Tran, when you're a geese player and you're moving around, sidestepping and stuff, buffering movement. Oh yeah. You get random high J Aiken because four circle back. Bu gets buffered into your movement when you're just trying to use back 3-2. Right. That's definitely what would happen there. Unfortunate Man, it, for Arslan. Execution yeah, error. And, and Chikrunin had that duck on lock, mm -hmm. too. He was super prepared. Arslan again, though, not switching characters and opting for an infinite stage. Yeah, with Geese. This is so strange, right? He really is out here just like, you know what? We can play Tekken. We'll take this. We'll take the walls away. You guys complain about walls? Screw mm -hmm. it. We'll play. We'll, we'll play, play the long game. Yeah, open we'll play world some Tekken. real man Tekken. Yeah. Naroma getting a quick stretch in. That chair doesn't have lumbar support, man. Man, this is gonna be so close here because if Arslan wins this game, he will be facing me tomorrow in our top eight. But Naroma not going out without a fight. Huge side step down forward to combo time. Okazemi now running stomp. Ooh, big counter hit down four, though. Good start here from Arslan. Wow, oh, drops the combo. Missing the combo, missing the punish. Things are looking a little shaky for Arslan right now. Yeah, for sure. It doesn't look like he's playing on on point as, as normal. Wow! wow! Just a raw shoulder out of nothing. Oh, counter hit down four, though. Again, here we go. I feel like Arsene hasn't used that move all that much in the set. Down four, he's, he likes to go more down threes, but yeah, safe for low option. But this down four has definitely been paying off. Maybe the down threes were to open up the down fours for the final game. Oh, the sharpeners are adding up. Yeah, look at this. It's just the pressure. Wow, that was a nice run. But he pumped the brakes too. That was yeah, so he smart. Knew. How did he know at the last second? Burn the meter so he could build more meter. Got another one ready. Wow, down two goes under that jab. Man, and he, you can tell Naroma's trying not to let him. Raise drive extension into the one plus two max damage after the tackle follow up. Uh oh. Oh, just out of range. Had he gone a little bit further, he would have hit him out of the air. Yeah, absolutely. Tied up now, 1 1. Such a close set here between Naroma and Arsenal Nash. After Naroma got his back blown out with that jack. Mixing up the JK now. Okay, yeah. but that's max mode though, so it's safe. Small pokes, the down fours have been the tail of the tapes in this game. Yeah. It's like Arson found out the move that can help him, you know, secure a lead every now and then with that counter hit down four. He's not going to it too often, but he's going to it when he needs it. Yeah, he's using it so well. Three counter hits with it already this game. But the Roma, he's gonna have some work to do. He has 20 seconds left to try to take out all of this health that Arsenal has had while not getting hit. But exactly. he does have rage. Oh, wow. interrupted. And he even the... did max mode and it didn't even count. He knew. He yeah. knew that. I think that was calculated. He was like, I get a safe attempt at this because it's gonna kill you and it's not gonna take away my meter. Yeah. Counter hit though, nice. 
Oh, and he goes to the mid this time, and the Roma not biting. Couple pokes here and there from both players. Ooh. Man, Arson, you know, he's getting pretty aggressive when he runs in. He's pressing something, and the Roma's letting him. Nice wow. dunk. Wow, great punish. Was really aware on that pattern. Jab into down two. Whoa! Wow, that was definitely an execution error. Yeah, Naroma didn't expect that at all. That's why he ducked and just didn't do anything. Flash duck there, pumping a low parry, instant wow. air fireball. Just moved out Slide of the way. Final that poke for Naroma! Oh, he went for a mix lock! Oh! oh my goodness! What a block and punish. Nobi Naroma. Like, who's the best in Japan? That's the, that's the story, right? Well, I mean, go. right now, the winner, the guy, only Japanese person winners is Take. Yeah. The one right everyone now, forgot he is about. The best. Yeah. Well, everyone forgot about me? Hold on, hold on. Shh. Quiet down over there. Check this out. <laughs> Top eight winners. So, Chikurin versus Double, Law versus Geese. We're, we're, I don't think we'll see any other characters in this set. I'll be shocked. Yeah, we definitely got two Koreans in Top eight right now. We're definitely going to get another double Japanese as well. Which one is it going to be, though? Yeah. And Chikurin right now making a strong case that it's going to be him. ESS4, yeah, so here we go. Wow, he just got hit by the high. The odd I'm not sure what happened there. Yeah, maybe got a little too fast on the duck there. All right, all right. Whoa, he I tried okay. it. He that tried was, it. That's not, that's not something I usually see out of double. <laughs> yeah, maybe he got inspired by Rip, too. I know. Rip is a bad influence. <laughs> yeah, a Rip. train again with no, <laughs> no cameraman. Man, you know Rip is, Rip's on the side, like, cheering for every law player. <laughs> Oh, nice. Gets Breaks the, floor the wall. Break. Or the wall break. Man, I, call, I keep calling the wall break floor breaks. <laughs> same, same, but different, but still the same. Screw it. I'm calling everything a ceiling break <laughs> from now on. Break the ceiling. Everything's over the roof. Nice Property stop. damage. <laughs> oh, Ooh, wow. I, you know what? I think the back 2 1 might have hit the wall. Yeah. I'm, I think double had a really good option there. Yeah, the 3 4 Ooh. to screw because the back 2 kind of puts the character to the left. Well, yeah, which so is where the wall was. Yeah, that's, that was actually really good adjustment there from Double, but wasn't able to clutch it out, and now Chikurin up two rounds to zero. Chikurin looking good right now. Super aware, out of range for a lot of Double's offense. Whoa. Double looking a little shaky on Geese's strings, gets caught by a standing two. That's going to be a ton of damage, too. Look at the... And he carries He's going to know the yes. wall carry. Oh, missing the dash. God, that's unfortunate, but, you know, it's a, such a big life lead that it might not even matter. Oh, what yes. a hit confirm! Beautiful. Chikrin taking a dominant first game over Double. Yeah, I mean, it, it didn't look like Double had any opportunity to start any offense because everything he tried, Chikrin just hit him. Down 4 twos, back 3 twos, the lows. Yeah, I mean, Double really needs to find the answer. He, he really couldn't get anything going. He tried sliding mix ups. He got hit with the red plukin in the face, you know, just. He's really thinking about it right now. He went back to the character select stage. Yeah, but you know, this character selects uh, screen, mm -hmm. I don't think it's necessarily there for him to use it other than just to think. Yeah, he's gonna just pick cool off. off, ice him a little bit. All right, going to a stage select. Yeah, he does like this stage. Precipice, Precipice of Fate. Mm -hmm. Precipice? Precipit? <laughs> There's a T in there. Pritipat? Pritipat? The Principality. <laughs> Principality. $50 million? Who do you think you got? Chelsea Cut? Ch Chelsea, Chelsea Carter? Carter? Chelsea Clean? Chelsea Carter? Chelsea or Kelsey? <laughs> Kelsey? <laughs> I've never heard of a Kelsey in my life. <laughs> All right, here we go. Double needs to put some bubbles on the board. Yeah. There's no bubbles lit up right now, but he hasn't had a bubble lit up in quite some time. Mm -hmm. Looking rough. Could be the nerves. Just could be Chikrin, honestly. I mean, Chikrin has been playing so well. Yeah, double Ooh. with the magic four. Here we go. To the wall. Beautiful. Wow, just cutting off his offense with down two on his wake up. Yeah, look at this. Just what a read. Wow. wow. That is an option select punish. Even if he finished the string, it would still punish it because right. the down jab's a high crush. Yeah, down one, obviously 10 frames. So that's always a big Again. frame like that. Uh, case in point. Yep. Thank you, Chikudin. <laughs> it's one of the. It's one of the only like two D specific type of two uh, D privilege. Yeah. yeah. So let's just let's just say what it is. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> Akuma privileges off of it way more. <laughs> he, gets, he, gets, he gets something a little bit better. Oh yeah, way better. <laughs> nice. Two fireball. Ooh. And man, double. Yeah, he's he is like. 
struggling to find any sort of offense here. Just swinging for the fences with these down four twos. It really seems like his, his style of, of offense, right, is while standing four into something, and Chikunin knows that. So he's yeah. just, just keeping him at bay with back he's just threes. waiting it out. He's just like, okay, whatever. Not a big deal. Nothing big is coming, as long as I don't give you a counter hit. Yeah, see, out of range for even the wall standing one. Just oh. always standing at a good spot. Wow! wow. Unfortunate wall situation there. Yeah, it just wasn't a wall combo. Why? Why? The four hit, but the three, three whiffed. whiffed. <gasps> nice punch, Perry. Good that awareness. Didn't quite stick on the legend kick follow up, but finishes with the low. And yeah, that's something. I mean, if you're a player, that's all you need. You just need one round to feel good about yourself. All right, all right I got this. I can still do this. Yes. I can make him bleed. Triple back two. It was one too many, though. Misjudging the wall carry. Oh, oh three down goodness, fours. Goodness, just chopping down the ankles. He's like, please block my leg. Uh -huh. Please How dare block. you. Look at these meters. I know you're scared. You want to duck? Look at this meter. Look at this meter. <laughs> Look at it. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm scared for every. I don't know who I'm scared for. I'm just scared for myself. <laughs> Look at it. I still got one more sun. Oh, what? Finally gets the down forward two for keep out. It didn't even look like it like, was a counter hit or anything. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. That was perfect. That double knew that. All he needed was something quick to hit. Mm -hmm. As long as it hit, that was a safe option. They double now with the lead in this game. Big flip kick, no punish though. Nice low parry there from double. Gonna kill out this max mode as well. Possibly get the wall. Yes. Nice. Uh, wow, that was crazy. You know, it was actually worth the risk because Geese can't launch it. Ran out of meter. Yeah, very true. Very, very and true. And even if he did, it would have been a sidewall. Very yeah. good situation all wearing from double. There. You know, something so, something uh, double did earlier that I really liked was that he used the legend kick to push Chikunin all the way back to the wall. Yeah. Just walk. Like, no, no real reason. Oh. Does it, but doesn't Maximo cancel? Double nice with the punish. What uh -oh. a great opening. Burns the meter for the extension. Sidewall combo still gets a ground throw. But no. doesn't work out. Yeah, actually turned from a sidewall. Double sliding! Oh. Double! No. It's in his name! <laughs> <laughs> Shut it up! Double it! Double it! Double it! Double it! Man, that was unfortunate for Chikunin too because he did the jab. The mm -hmm. first one was still a sidewall splat. The second one ended up being a, like that weird forward oh, splat. Yeah. Forward splat. I don't know These what you call that. Weird octagonal hexadecimal <laughs> stages, man. <laughs> 16 sided walls. Yeah. It's like it's like D and D dice, dude. Like it's a, that's that, <laughs> it has so many sides. I don't know what any of this means. Right? It's hitting two sides on the same time. It's it's ridiculous. Man, all right, so Chikurin now going to the jungle outpost. Back to the jungle outpost, This will yeah. be the final game here. I mean, Chikurin looked so strong in game one, and Double brought it all the way back. Yeah, that game was two. sick. Things that weren't working out just started working. Could be an adjustment to the timing on Double's part. Yeah, both of you guys really do love the walls, so, you know, for here, I guess Double probably doesn't mind this stage all that much. Mm -hmm. Here it is, going to get that big beefy Dragon Cannon. One plus two throw, nice break. Ooh, try to get that count in, one, two, three. That would have got a wall splat, too. Ooh. Chikuna fighting away from the wall. There's that wall signing four pressure, like we said. Oh, wow, nice. Caught him busy, but still was aware. All the down forward twos are working now. Yeah, and it's weird because it's not. it doesn't look like it's a counter hit. It must be, mm -hmm. but it just looks like Chicken is just getting caught, just standing still and getting hit by a down forward two. Yeah, the keep out down forward two wasn't working at all the first game, but they're starting to work out now. Because actually not being a keep out, what he's doing actually is running in, delaying his timing a little bit, and then just throwing a down forward two. Oh, that could be the adjustment. Flash duck there, nothing with it. Okay. Nice, got the counter hit down jab. Slide just out of range, went the opposite way. And Chikurin does like using that uh, forward four quite a bit too. Oh, nice. There's the wall board. standing four paying off now. Yes. Uh-oh. Ooh, burn the meter. Woo-hoo. Maximo burned it all. I, I think he's just accepting. Oh, he gets the throw, though. Caught him. Pressing a button and the back two out of range. Caught him trying to reach. Yes. You reach, I teach. Mm -hmm. Give him that 2D fireball. Ooh. Nice break from Chico in there. Man, it's so tense. These guys have been, like, just, it seems like everything they're doing is, is leading to something big. Mm -hmm. Like that. <laughs> and look at that. Look, yeah, really, you're right. Yeah. Not big, not a great punish because that's really all Geese can get. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, big counter hit trade for both of them. Oh, counter nice. Nice. Ooh, One hit away. Going for the claw. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Everything. Are you serious? Nice. Ooh. What a punch parry. Double. One round away from advancing to our top eight. That was such a great punch parry there from yeah. Double. And regardless, Chikudan was willing to burn the meter just to keep the pressure going. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, oh, what a whiff punish there from Chikudan. Gonna get tons of damage here. All oh, that red. Man, that Bird Sage Jam was in the way of the camera too for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Double Luigi, here we go. Final, final round here between both of these Great Japanese player. Who's the best in Japan? We'll find out here. Oh, the wall bounce. Oh, maximum wall bounce combo. Damn it, Chikunin now. Ooh, huge lead. Nice punish on the flip kick. Got him pressing buttons, and that's going to be it. Closing it with the double perfect at the end. Chikunin. <laughs> he, oh, oh, oh. he brought it out for the Steve Fox. This is not even a favorable matchup for Heihachi. It might not be the Steve Fox. It might just be JDCR had to play another character because he just had no faith in his armor king at this wow. point. Starting it off with a, a guard break. Yeah, not wasting any time. Uh, you know, I mean, if you're Nomi, right, you probably had a huge conversation with Take earlier. Like, all right, what, what, what's the plan? What should I be doing here against his armor king? Mm -hmm. And then look at this JD. He's like, all right, you know what? I don't even want it. <laughs> I'll play Heiachi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, oh. counter hit Hell Sweep. This going to be big damage. Oh, no, the oh. execution error. You uh -oh. hate to see that type of thing happen, especially when you're you move away from the character that you've been playing all tournament, and then you have that critical execution error. Yeah, I mean JD looking a little bit flustered here. Yeah, Nobi bullying him with these uh, guard break hooks. Man, Ooh. look at this! Just the pressure here from both players. JD just checking with these mids again. He's really just being a bully with it. Wow, just finishes the string, the 725. Mm -hmm. What, what the in hell? the world is happening, JD? He he messed up Rage Drive, but it seems pretty odd to mess it up in that situation. Yeah. You got back two to come out, but not the last part. Absolutely. Oh, if you, and it, like, yeah, you just, yeah. It's just so weird. Wow, what a Gets nice the reset. Up, yeah. You have to tech roll, but if you tech roll, you leave yourself in that 50 50 situation with the blue stuff. Nice size to No big punish from JD, though. Not looking good. Good throw break there from JD. But Flash duck into 1-1-2. One, one, that was a beat down there from Novi. Yeah. Not wasting any time. You know, and if you're JDCR in this position here, what do you do? What immediately do you do? go to character select and immediately pick armor key. You're damn right. That's the character you, you grinded so much. It's yeah. the character that you... Just to doubt yourself to qualify into top eight. Man, what a heartbreak, heart-wrenching moment. Man. Late? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't a choice. He's still hovering over Armor King. I yeah. think he's really, Yeah. It, there's really a little bit of self-doubt there. Yeah, I mean. And you hate to see it's that. It's a huge tell, even to your opponent, right? Like, you didn't want to go with this character to begin with. It's kind of like, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, one of those things, too, it's, it's now that he's playing the character that he's been really grinding out for the past several days, mm -hmm. or you know, or not days, like months, Couple. yeah, basically, right? It's going to be a different style now that Nobi's going to have to adjust to real quick. Mm -hmm. It can go bad for Nobi, but realistically, Nobi does have the advantage here, like yes. crazy. Yes. All right, let's see if JD can do it with the Armor King pick. Already down one game, picking Heihachi. And we're going to what a crowd pleaser, man! I swear he does that for the crowd. <laughs> The crowd doesn't even want Heiachi anymore. They don't, oh, even know, they don't even know what they want. They the crowd's want confused at yeah. this point. JD made the crowd. Oh, <laughs> Fight. I know we've switched outfits, too. <laughs> Can you do that on a, on I know, a, right? on a win? TWC? Yeah. We're going to pull out the... Oof. Oh, my God. That one. Oh, yeah. Sumi. Harada. It's Murray now, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sumi and Michael Murray. I got to figure out how to say goodnight in other languages. That's tight. <laughs> oh, man, that one, two, one, and the down one to finish it out. Nobi. This is beat down city right now. Yeah, and it's not even like Nobi's playing very differently than how he normally would. He's playing the same exact style, and it's just 
being so aggressive against JD. Nice combo, though. Start of the round, both of them went for back one, but King and Armor King's back one is one frame faster than Steve's. That sounds like a complaint from a Steve player no, that no, I no. hear. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying how it is. Yeah, that's true. You're right. Don't, them, them's the facts. Yeah. Numbers, baby. Ooh. Good check on the down forward two duck cancel there. Steve absolutely can't do anything about that down forward four check. Nice. I like that extended little duck there. The ball standing one. Wow. Oh. The down forward two crushing through the jabs. Oh, he tried to go for the wall carry there. Oh, and he caught, got, uh, got caught jumping. Unfortunate. Nice step. Oh, Michael Murray. <laughs> yeah, he wanted that wall splat. Fortune didn't get it. Ooh. That was a 3 1 1, huh? Yep, absolutely. That was so scary. Nice, nice. duck. Nice. What a duck. That, you, yeah, you better do that. Don't waste your time trying to do anything Why else. Why would you ever doubt Armor King? He's so sick. Uh, plant this, man. I wonder if people actually plant trees like that or something. <laughs> like just jump up in the air, pile drive it down to in the that ground. Position? Yeah. That's pretty uh, intimate. That's, that's, <laughs> how, that's how you plant trees back in the wherever the hell Armor King's from. Parts, un <laughs> parts unknown. Ooh, multi throw. Here we go. What's it going to be? Nice break right away on the second part of the extension. Yep. Nice. Got the big counter and Nobi. Just slowly chipping away at JD. Nice hit confirm on the wall standing. One, two. Counter hit confirmed. Final JDCR chance. needs to win this round or else he will be eliminated in ninth place. Instant running to in his face. That JD, you know, that a dragon off habit. Oh, yeah. Built in. Oh, my God. I like that pressure there Just from Novi. Saying hit a button. Hit a button. That's what he's saying right now. Hit a button. Let me put a back one right there. But JD's not pressing any buttons. Oh, I didn't even try to whip Ooh, one. Oh, he almost had it. Nice! nice! A clutch sidestep at the last second! Oh, oh, a little too far off axis on the on Crash Dash 1. Yeah, he noticed it too. So he pumped the brakes on the combo. Oh, that could have been a blow. Oh, that he was a counter hit. hit! What a good read from Novi Sidewall! Uh oh. Good block there from JD. Oh! Micro Backdash saved this. Oh, what? what was that? Michael Murray! No way. No! Instant! No! no! Down jab! Novi takes it over JDCR. What the hell? Oh <laughs> my gosh! Listen, the entire match was completely fine up until that point. Then Nobi and JDCR had, had to suck a look. It was like, we gotta go crazy. What? That was insane, dude. Oh, what a heartbreaker for JDCR. You know, that doubt with the character right at the finish line. Dude, that could have cost him the entire tournament oh, right there. Dude, you know he's got to be thinking about it. You know that one hurts. Nice. That one hurt. He put up a, such a better fight with Armor <laughs> King. <laughs> that match was crazy, dude. Wow. Nobi will be moving on now to our top eight. That's two Yamasa boys in yes, top sir. eight. Three Japanese, Japanese players so far, and there could be one more. Jap Japan coming in here hot. But let's tell these guys who the players are. We remember this match from last year. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I'll tell you guys right now, I put this match on my commentator reel so I could be here again to yeah. commentate this. And if you guys want some quick updates on the losers, let me give it to you real quick. Cuddlecore beat Ulsan. Uh, Fight. Chanel and Shadow are playing losers. Double beat Gen and Lil Majin beat 725. There you go. There you have it. So there's some updates from loser side. We're going to be showing all the qualifying matches for Top 8 on this stream. So be sure to check us out. But here we go. Nii versus Chikudin right now. Korea, Japan. And so far there's no Korea uh, representative in Top 8 yet. Yeah, not yet. Seems unlikely that it will still stay that way, though. But yeah, he has been so strong last two years. Yeah. And uh, you know, to be like the entire like storyline of this whole Tekken World Tour this year has been, where's Arslan? Is Arslan at this tournament? And the only reason why people ask that is because they want to see who can beat me. Exactly. That's really what it is. Yeah, exactly. And Chick wouldn't do it though. Will he allow? need to even face Arslan. Yeah, uh, is arguably could be one of the best in Japan right now. Chikudin yes. been so consistent over the last year or so. Oh, man. Oh, Ooh. man. And Chikudin did not blow any of that meter on back 3-2. He never even spent it because I bet you he was just worried about 
using the meter and not getting it for the next round. And Big <laughs> back one. <laughs> he used it there and check it out. Now you're blue while you're getting back one. Uh huh. Oyasumi Harada. <laughs> the mid checks for Chikuda. All these down forward ones. Yeah, and this could be a Quick terrible post. stage here for Chikuda as well. Unlucky to getting a uh, wall of stage. Exactly. The random stage on the first pick. Could oh. make a huge factor. Side step to align the combo. Yes, looking very strong here. Oh, oh this is the run. Running there. Running into the flicker two. Rage drive expended. Down jab. No go. Oh, and he went for it. And nice duck there from knee punishing it. Knee now up two rounds to zero. Chikurin. With no meter either. It's going to be rough. So alert from knee. So aware of all the strings coming from Geese right now. Man, and you just look at the pressure that Nee's putting on Chikurin. Chikurin's gonna have to, you know, try to stop him, but at the same time, he, he's, he's a little bit worried about that back one. That back one has really put a, uh, you know, a stop sign to Chikurin's offense. Mm -hmm. Chikurin really picking his spots right now, but can't really seem to get anything going. Had to burn it, gets it though, off the down jab. Gotta count it, man, that, that was a little bit high for that EX Fireball. Yeah, that one you can't even convert off of. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. Expanded on the raise drive. Chikurin with a small lead. Ooh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> just just faking out the peekaboo attack. Oh, big Boy. lead for Chikurin. Oh, Boy, the oh. trade. Very fortunate trade for Chikurin. Down at the five second mark, too. All these rounds are coming down to the a wire. Yeah. So tense right now. Runs into be in range. And Chikurin does have a meter to spend here. And he does have to be careful of the back three. Yeah, sidestep left there, looking for the back three. Man, just look at the patience here from, from Ni. Not pressing any buttons. And Chikurin has been whiffing a ton, but Ni's like not even like worried about it. Because mm -hmm. everything Chikurin's whiffing has like some sort of second hit or third hit maybe that just Ni's not willing to run into. I like what I'm seeing from Ni though. A lot of just option select movement and he finds himself a counter hit there off the down forward too. Yeah, he's not. He's playing very patient. Every whiff, he doesn't have. He doesn't have to whiff punish every whiff. Is basically his game plan right now. Down four max mode, using it for pressure. Burns it all though. Has one more. Yeah, ten seconds left. It's nice. Big block. Huge block there from Knee. Knee taking that first game. I w it, it felt convincing, but at the same time, it really wasn't. You know, it felt like Chikurin had so many opportunities to finish out rounds that he just wasn't willing to pull the trigger. But a lot of Knee's movement looks like he's kind of baiting him to use the attacks that he wants him to. Yeah, for like sure. Like, a lot of backdash, backdash, sidestep left, backdash, sidestep left. Now I'm going to do double sidestep left. It's just a lot of just moving and then flash duck for the down four just in case. Crazy. Gets the big block at the end there and takes the first game. Yeah, you know, Chikurin has been one of the more consistent players in Japan as of late. Uh, his geese has been causing a terror in Japan. Uh, uh, recently so going over to Pakistan, wow. too, and having a huge set with a lot of them, getting a lot of training in before EVO. Oh, yeah, right before EVO, he goes to Pakistan, plays with third best, mm -hmm. uh, gets beat up quite a bit, but it's, you know, it's probably worth it, right? Yeah, definitely worth it. I mean, it's showing right here, you know, he is in top uh, top 16 winner side, so. Mm -hmm. One wow. away. Finishes the one-two string with the mid follow-up. Oh, traded on the back one. Yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> Texas seven, baby. <laughs> oh, the flicker. Yeah, I like how Knee doesn't really want to press the wall advantage either. He's just picking his spots. You know, just make sure he keeps his back towards the wall. He knows he can push him, but finds a counter from Chikurin. Can Chikurin carry to the wall? Of course he can. <laughs> ground throw. Maximum meter build combo. Really optimal stuff there. He knew the ground throw was going to kill, and that's the most meter building option for Geese into the next round. And now look at Geese here. Chikunin finally getting a, a, a lead in the game. Using that meter in the plus frames. The Tiger Knee EX Air Fireball. Chikunin playing so patient, though. Not really risking the parries. I'm mashing parry in my mind, and Chikunin's not doing it, so it's like, right? I, that's the reason why he's there, and I'm not. <laughs> the mid parry always looks so dope. Oh, I was thinking it was going to happen there. Big block again. I nice. mean, if you're, if you're chicken in, you take that because that wasn't that much damage. Yeah. The wall saved him, actually. Oh, nice break. Chicken in with rage and one stock of meter. Will he use it? 
how will he use it if he does? Dude, the way Nii's playing against Shikunin right now, he makes it feel like you always have to burn the meter on this guy. Yeah. Every opportunity you have. And so he tried it there. Oh, my. What? Whoa! The second hit of the down 2-1! Traded! Oh. Oh, big read. Yeah, he, he, had, he had to do something because no, nothing would have killed otherwise. Yeah. So that was a great choice there from Chikunin. And Nii, obviously, not pressing any buttons. Not going to take a risk there. Yeah, so smart. Nii definitely plays the clock to his favor, too. Yeah, for sure. He's like, even if I take the sweep here, nothing's going to happen. Man, that trade on that a EX Air Fireball was so yeah. unfortunate for Chikunin because had it, it hit, and he would have been able to kill with it. Absolutely. He would have definitely got the wall with that. Big low carry from Nii. Here we go. Realigning for the combo. Gets it, but a little too close for that carry. Rocky Launcher on the wall. Chikudin, big low parry here. Here we go. Going to take him to the wall. Okazemi. Oh. Wow, and the big counter hit down 4-2. They were both going for the down 4-2. <laughs> Man, no wonder, no wonder all these players are Steve players, too. Yeah. <laughs> down 4-2, mid homing move. Oh, that jab went right under all. Oh, sidewall saving a life right now. Ooh. He fussy ducked Aye. for the low jab just in case it was coming. I wonder, Checks him. I wonder if Chicken Fight. did like a max mode something there with that down four. And because it whiffed, he wasn't able to cancel it into anything. Oh, wow. That's that. Yeah, that could be true. He might have been thinking that was going to hit. Yeah. Burns it so he could start building meter again. That's another reason why you want to expend it right away, but. Can't use that string on knee. Man, and it's, it every time. It seems so hard to break knee down. Look at oh this. Oh my his, god. His patience, his defense, everything has been working out so well. Oh man, he even tried to get maximum damage on that wall break. What can Chico didn't do here? I mean, it, it seems up oh, there. That's a start right there. Yep. Getting that big counter hit forward four. Carry to this the wall. wall. Yes, beautiful. Oh, is that time? Single rep Luken. Knee stays down. So smart. Wow, double rep Luken from a little bit out of range. And now Chicken in no maximum left, and he has a slight lead. Nice, expends the blue. Oh, Yasumi! Harada San! <laughs> and look at that backdash to win. He knew the time <laughs> was going to let him win, and he was like, all right, I'm out. Down 4 2 every time. Yeah. So maybe that's what he's looking for. Well, we'll see how it goes here. Will this be the right choice? Red find out. Law, huh? He's one of those. Nice. Gets the big wall carry. Going to try to carry it to the wall. Yes, big damage. Oh, no. <laughs> was, uh, was that a know. double forward instead of triple forward? <laughs> that was sick. All right. I mean, he got he got the uh, the okay. Almost got the perfect. Oh, Beautiful. Anakin swinging. That's one of Anakin's things, where he, he he likes to take some pretty risky reads every now and then. And I think it's it's effective. You know, you think you would think that a Jack player like his at his level would be like super safe, right? Super safe. Right. But he's willing to take big risks when he needs to yeah, because he's definitely he has a good calculator, lead. well calculated yeah, risk. Yeah, for sure. Not wow. a low parry. And you saw Anakin dash up two or three times to ensure that he was going to get close enough. And Lohai's like, okay, you're close enough. <laughs> get out of my way. <laughs> you know what was funny too on Lohai's end? He double pumped it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, big damage then. This is looking great for Lohai now. Anakin trying to find an answer to break his. Oh, small whip punish there from Anakin. Cool. The delayed rage drive. He held the buffer of the input on the rage drive and did it at the last second. That was beautiful. Yeah, he does that so well. Where it looks like he's crouching and then he just, for some reason, he turns blue and all of a sudden you're in there. You're like, how the hell that happened? Mm -hmm. Maximum buffer. Yeah, great job there from Anakin. And man, the beatdown within 10 seconds. Look at that. No health from low high. What an adjustment from Anakin. It seemed like he was just getting beat up. And he's still getting beat up, though. But it's like, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's too little too late. He's getting beat up, but he got beat up first. Anakin looking strong. Up two rounds, first game already. Ooh, good throw break. Man, wow, look at them. They just both stop in each other's faces. Like, all right, you swing. No, you swing. Yeah, this this game has turned into not even a movement game. Wow. They're just like, okay, timing, timing, timing. They're just really being ballsy about it. Yeah. But Lohai with the risky 3 plus 4 there gets whip punished. Nice by Anakin. And it's looking kind of rough here for Lohai. He's going to have to do something big. Yeah, he, he's just kind of betting that the 3 plus 4s will get him off of him. Not working out on. at all. See, this is 
kind of the dilemma that you leave yourself in. Okay, so you tried out a different character. The Shaheen hasn't been working, so you tried out the new counter pick character, but I don't know. It wasn't looking that good, but straight into the ring. Didn't even choose time to cool off or anything. Yep, he went straight into it. So we have here Lohai sticking with Law. He, he just, picked his character for that, and he did the old school law punish. <laughs> Unfortunate. He is an old school law player at heart. Oh, got the counter hit three. Oh, but did not get a combo. Oh, and man, move for the pickup. All right, there's a good start here from uh, Lohai. Doesn't go for the dragon cannon on the sidewall. Man, and he, he's really swinging. He's just swinging at. It feels like I. It feels like he's trying to just catch Anakin coming in, but he yeah, can't. It's not working out. Anakin's dash block timing is just too good right now. Nice trying to get maximum wall carry here. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Big nice. damage. And it feels like this game has been really uh, based on who has the best position on the stage. Yeah, absolutely. Right now, Anakin slowly... Wow, he worked his way 180. Yeah. Slowly but surely got there. With Big Booty Jack. <laughs> now they're right Went in the middle. Went for the risk. Now we're no playing Tekken. Oh, my God. Anakin just finding his oh! again. Booty Bugger. <laughs> Are you serious right now? This Man. is insane! And Anakin now one round away from advancing to the winner's side top eight as well. Low Runs high. into the one plus two throw. What's he gonna do with the wall carry combo? Drops yeah. it! Wow. Dragon cannon, big punish! Yeah, he went at, it feels like Lohai's just going for huge, what huge What is going risks. on? Yeah, definitely antsy. Reverses the tackle, gets off me. Go oh, back three big. Beautiful combo from Lohai there. Back three again. Big nice. low parry. This could be it if he hits the combo well. Side, side. wall. He doesn't want to go for it. What's the side wall do? Saves nice. lives. Yes, it does. And there you go. Low high gets one on the board. Still alive. Yeah, Faking the slidey. Running up down back three anyways. Now you can see that Anakin's now mix up between his run up big low or run up uh, jackhammer. Mm -hmm. And see, that's why low high's getting hit by all of them is because I feel like he's trying to low parry. Yeah, Anakin's caught on to hit uh, Lohai's defensive game plan. Lohai's not using side steps very much, and he's just going to a back and forth game, looking for a three plus four to whiff punish, but it's not happening. Wow, big jab there to stop him. This is last chance for Lohai. Really last chance. Oh my goodness, Anakin just dashing in and out of range. Yo. Look at this! The and dance made him bite the bullet. Yeah, Lohai even like looked down at. Let's go. Lohai going for the law pick once again. Yeah, you know, it's it, it, like I said, it could be, you know, the conflict of styles here, man. But I wonder if Lohai has been playing law this entire, like, like I feel like he's, I've seen him mainly play Shaheen, but he's sticking with this law. Mm -hmm. Dragon Hammer gets the counter hit. Wall position has been switched. Homing move, don't go nowhere. Gets a tray wow. on the Magic 4. <laughs> I love when those trades happen, but the camera doesn't yeah. zoom in. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> the camera not gonna keep up. Oh, oh wait, wait a minute. <laughs> nice down jab off the 1-2. Oh, man, and the pokes there, nice there from low high. Keeping it short and sweet. Not trying to go for anything crazy. And it's kind of like, that's that's also uh, a very Shadow-esque type of game plan, too. Yeah, here we go, though. Shadow going back to his patented game plan, just trying to pick his spot, seeing what works and what doesn't. Really trying to pick up on the timing and momentum of your opponent. Yeah, Lohai here just pressuring. What a whiff on his On there. a single jab. Yeah, he knew, too, and that's going to be hella damage. Oh. And Lohai now two rounds up very quickly in the first game. Lohai's Law style seems a lot more backdash heavy rather than sidestep because Law has the sidestep 3 plus 4 that's different from his regular 3 plus 4. Right. So he just kind of stands at that sweet spot right at the tip of 3 plus 4, makes you hit a button, and then just whip punishes you for it. Man, great low parry there from Shadow here. Whoa, back, three back threes and that's walk off. Just marching into town. <laughs> I like that. Man, I really like dumb wall combos. I don't yeah. know what it is about me. It sets up for Claw. What? Oh, okay. Genocide Cutter! Shadow putting in work there. Getting that little blue bubble. Mm -hmm. Sometimes all you need is one to get going. There we go. Double low. Shadow answering back. Nice. Slidey. Let him look at the slide input too. Made him double think it. 
gets a counter hit down forward too. Shadow was definitely pressing a button. Whoa. Oh, delays it. Didn't want to finish it. Burn the blue, using it for fame advantage. Superman punch goes for the low. He's got to do a lot more of those, though. Low high not giving anything up. No, he did it. What? I can't believe he just did that. Rip, pop, pop, blue. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Rip? I <laughs> definitely Rip. took a page you out know, of Rip's you know, playbook. Yeah, you know Rip is somewhere right now, smiling, smiling. grinning yeah. ear to ear. He's like, yeah, I taught him that. Exactly. Yeah, I taught him that. I basically won. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow, Shadow just goes random, random not choosing a stage. On the stage. Okay. That's I, that might be one of those just things where I don't care. Mm -hmm. I mean, he does have he, you know he does seem to have that kind of you know posture about him, right? Just yeah. has this very look, you know, this this look of just like you know. Shout out to Shadow though. He he did say he's going to be working on his slouch, and, and like this <laughs> tournament, he tweeted about it. He was like, if you see me slouching, I would really appreciate it if you told me to sit up straight. No and all tournament, he's been sitting up straight. And look at him now. He's top nine, maybe top eight, but he's got he's got to you know straighten up that posture champ. a little bit better against yeah. Lohai. Yeah, the last year's champ. That's the crazy part. It's so hard to double down on, on being an evil champ, especially in Tekken 7, where the, uh, the competition from every region is just getting better and better and better. Exactly. Hard to stay on top, especially in this game. Unless you're New York. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, that's the hardest part. Wow. These guys are getting every poke that they can. Yeah, wow. Lohai uh, jumped into that one. Big counter what? hit. He walked up for a second, waited, then hit the four. Wow, you saw that he dashed up, then back dashed, then dashed up again so he can make sure he got the forward, forward, two, three input. And he got it in time. Yeah, okay. nice job there from low high. Side set two to DSS, nothing though. Oh, he had the counter hit. Oh my god, look at those. <laughs> Dang, even a whiffed one, two, he's gonna sneak a low poke in there. Oh man, making Shadow work so hard for everything right now. Man, you see double or uh, low high right now is just like just constantly going in with buttons. Like mm -hmm. everything is followed up with something, and, and it really is. Sorry for the bad pun. Disrupting Shadow's uh, offense here. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. I think everybody gets one, right? Everybody gets one. I, I, I couldn't think of a better word other than the one that was no. right in front of his name. It, just, it was there for me. I had to use it. Oh, my God. Look at the damage, Ooh. though. Ugh. Low Game high. Set point for low high. One round away from making top eight. Wow, what a flow with the uh, back one there. Getting the wall positioning. Shadow repositioning himself, though. Gets a small hit confirmed. He could have done the one extension and get the wall splat. Man, look at that. Just low high pressuring with those crouch dashes. And Shadow not biting, not trying to press any buttons. He's just going to back dash. Wow, another float again. Yeah. Man, it, uh, every round, low high's got one wall combo at least. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Hammer of the guy. Hammer <laughs> of the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, man. Oh. Got the blue. But it, what a reaction Ooh. and a great reaction. And man, that is it. Shadow will end the tournament in ninth place. Low high. Back a year. Was it scripted? <laughs> How did this happen? Oh man. I love this movie. And the Roma going with Dragon Dragonaut off. this time. I, didn't he do this last year too? <laughs> I don't think. I, I don't know actually. I'm not. I could have sworn he went Jack all the way. It, whatever. It doesn't matter. Naroma Majin. And here we go. Oh, Naroma getting the getting ahead on these pokes. Majin answering back though. Oh, got, got him. him airborne. Went for a jab. Thought he caught him a little higher there. Ooh, good throw break, break there from Naroma. No wall though, so he can't finish. Ooh, but the down two finishes the plate. There it is. Naroma on the board. Gets first blood. Fight. Again. Oh. Sharpener. Ooh. Get that out of here. Yeah. Majin always so clean with the uh, Jaguar hook combos. Oh, yes. The Man. ground throw. 50 50. What's it going to. Oh, <laughs> get up. This stage always, it, when there's hot lava on the ground, I feel like you should be taking like damage over time. <laughs> it's too hot down there. Why is it? Well, I guess that's why they wear those boots, huh? Oh yeah. Lava, lava resistant boots. The Batman cape boots. <laughs> Majin on the board, tying it up. Answering right back. Again, same sequence, down two versus back two. Oh man, and you know the crowd is cheering their ass off right now for little Majin. Mm -hmm. 
Japan, of course, they're cheering for their boy Naroma. What a block and perfect punish from Naroma there. Yeah, beautiful. back to one, no duck on the high stream. Gets nice. the counter hit, nice confirmation. Gets the running tackle. King, unique follow up, goes for the leg break. Yeah, it misses the follow up there. It's a far hard follow up, I think, like one or two frames oh. worth. He could extend it a little bit. Down jab there to keep the pressure going. Nice, and just kept pressing buttons there. Majin not blocking. Mm -hmm. Naroma taking the lead now. Oh, big slidey, no punish. Yeah, didn't even whiff, get a good whiff punish there. He tried too. Yeah, he, good awareness though to hit the brakes from Lil Majin. Down two again. Just checking his ankles, trying to force him to duck. Nice punish there from Oh, what? what the hell? <laughs> Drop from Naroma though, that was a huge read. Wow, and he went for the counter and finishes the string, but Majin doesn't get that, that great of a punish there. Yeah, just a 2-1, he could have got a back one too. Nice! nice. Backward Jaguar step to create the whip. That could have been, uh-oh. Baits out the Rage Art, nice to the Rage Art to the Rage Art. Yes sir, you gotta watch this. Mm -hmm. And also, the Rage Art is also to have a little breather. Yeah, for They've sure. been going back and forth, let me take a little breather. Man, cool you saw, off a little did bit. you see Majin's eyes? The, mm -hmm. Them things were lethal. Yeah, dude. <laughs> he has a murder face if I've ever seen one. Ooh. Running to there. Nice job there from Naroma. Oh, Ooh, answering back with another instant running. Oh, he that, that was something dirty. Yeah, he was going for the cross-up tech. Yeah, he loves. Majin always has these little... Like, Pioneer of Okazemi with King, really. Oh, yeah. Like, I feel like his rounds are scripted sometimes. <laughs> as soon as he gets one hit, then every setup Here that comes. he's thought of works. Yep. Here we go. Life so close. Ooh, got the big the counter. Running two, side rolls out. Damn! Side rolls to the forward roll to a giant swing. Yo, the movement, the ground movement. Seriously? He just, just crawled up there. Yo, you want Korean backdash? We got Yo! We got American ground rolls, baby. Whoa, Whoa, Jaguar, Jaguar, Jaguar step! Oh my god, just so close. Down forward one block. Running two. Nice, nice. Duck. Wow! Super aware of the high string from dragging off. Majin takes the first game again! Yeah, and man, this time though, Naroma's not going to Jack. He went straight to stage select this time. Thinking about it, I'm speechless! When Ma man, Majin, Majin gets some secret juice at EVO, man! Yeah, this is insane! But here we go. Naroma definitely going for the stage select. I think he's, he's hovering over the infinite. He's, uh, does not, he doesn't seem confident in what stage to pick here yeah, either. Yeah, he's not sure either. And this has been, you know, obviously this is a new rule for this year's Tekken World Tour, as, as you know, people know. Stage select is such a huge thing now. Not too many, some players don't care. They go random like Shadow does. Yeah. Some players really, really think hard about it. Mm -hmm. And so Naroma here, thinking hard about it, and he went with Abandoned Temple. The biggest wall stage in the game. Yeah. But it is not a square, you know, walls, corners. It definitely has 90 degree corners. It's definitely a little bit more circular. Yes. All right, here we go. Majin up one game. It's an interesting choice here. Maybe he wants to just avoid having to deal with some giant swings or anything like that, but he still wants to keep his wall pressure. Absolutely. I love Dragonoff has great wall carry. Yeah, too. I choose this stage a lot because I love having a lot of space to move around, but I'm an Akuma player. I have to have walls. <laughs> yeah, that's a good choice, definitely. Yeah. So I like this choice here from Naroma too, but can he make it work out for him? Nice wow. block there from Majin, and you know, Majin playing so safe. Majin's way of getting up has really been so great in this set. Yeah, he's mixing it up, and it's it's not like oh, always back or always tech rolling. He's gonna he's gonna roll a little bit. He's gonna back roll here, and it's and it can get confusing sometimes. Mm -hmm. The way he used that side roll to the forward roll to set up that giant swing was crazy that last game. Yeah, but Naroma taking first blood. Yeah, and there's the wall helping Naroma out there. Down two, so hard to avoid in that situation. Ooh. Nice. Crushing the down jab with the up 4-4. It is a safe low crush option for Dragonoff. Not a huge combo afterward, but something's better than nothing. Good throw break there from Naroma. And now look at this, the big lead here from Naroma. Wow. Nice. Threading the needle with the shoulder. And caught him stepping to hit the down forward one. Naroma, two rounds up, big. And that was quick too. Oh, missing the running two, but still gets the 4-4-2 to hit. Yeah, and just look at this. It's the pressure what? here. And he, he did a crouching giant swing for high crush? Man, and look at this. The Roma just going ham on Majin right now. Yeah, he, everything's working. Oh. Everything's working. He has a read on his backward Jaguar steps. You know oh. what? And man, double perfect. Wow. Double perfect. That what was a, a beatdown. 
And you know what, though? A lot of it was a lot of ducking just straight up from Naroma. Like, he's, I'm not going to deal with the highs, you know, screw the throws. Yeah. The, screw the jabs. You know, I'm just, I got to go through it. And Majin now, he has to deal with. Yeah, he gets to pick the stage now. Final chance. It is a first to two. So this also plays a factor. And of course, yep. as the king player, <laughs> we're going to the forgotten round. Oh, man, he has to shake his hands like, well. <laughs> This oh. The crowd chanting for the American hero, Little Majin. Look at the crowd behind them, too. Holy there it crap. Is. Final game between these two. And it's going to be on, obviously, the floor break stage. Why not? Here we go. Making sure the floors are sturdy. <laughs> They're not. Sorry, Dragunov. Tasting the dirt down there. <laughs> he's okay, it's good to go. He's not a very good QA tester. Oh, uh, oh the first break. Floor break. <laughs> oh, no, he was checking to see if the floor was broken already. Oh, it is? All right, let me hit this throw real quick. What a combo. He knew. Ow. Starting position, if he started with this throw, do this combo. He knew. Man, and now Majin has been on the back step this entire time. Clutch block. Majin gets a hit. Again. Oh, what is going and on? And that's unfortunate for Majin too because it will break the floor. Yeah. Even if it, he, that's the main reason it, why he even picked this stage. Yeah, if you're Majin, you wanted that throw to kill you. Yeah, he already wasted two floors. Yeah. So the advantage that King has is gone almost. Mm -hmm. You Only need one floor left. Yeah, you, if you're Majin, you want to take advantage of oh, it. Try ASAP. to break it there, but no go. Man, the adjustment from Naroma has been so good. Counter hit confirmation. Okazemi time. Nice, small punish from Noroma there. Wow! Stood right outside of range on the first hit. Still has a screw downstairs. Nice, Sue. Perfect wall, wall carry, you have to guess. Yeah, he tried to go for a uh, tech trap there. Noroma felt it in his bones. Mm -hmm. Didn't put. Whoa! Yo, the no wall jump with King! Good block there from Noroma. Oh, oh, the extension on the range try. One plus two follow up. What's up, Kazemi? Back on pursuit and down to the slicer. Final round. The Roma one round away from advancing to our top eight. Majin has to do a three round comeback, but it's not impossible. Yes, it's not, but it's going to be damn hard, especially against the Roma. Don't cut him out just yet. Here we go. Majin is formulating. Sure. Nice right. blocks. He's taking He's getting it. things going. He's taking it slow here. Nice, got him wow, ducking. Beautiful. Finally got him ducking. Try to get her back roll. Running two for pressure. Oh. Try to giant swing him for uh, disrespect, but nice big step. step. And that's how you start it. Gets one on the board. Yeah, man, and that's <laughs> the crowd I can't even say is words erupting. Man, Majin. again, the patented one plus two. He noticed that it's working out way too well in this set. Yeah, Majin has not broken that once. Oh, and he got caught ducking. Uh -oh, is that wall? Uh -oh. No. Didn't re splat. This is scary for Majin. Nice clutch block. He Final needs, chance. He cannot get hit one more. Oh. Capital punishment. Giant swing. Nice Broken. break. So close. In and wow, out. Wow, what a whip. whip no. In his face. And Naroma takes it. Wow, that was such a close set, though.